Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another Monster Gems video. So today we have a new tail challenge to take a look at it. On top of that, we've got a new treasure cave monster. I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys know if the monster is actually worth it. So hope you guys are excited. If you are, make sure you drop a like, subscribe. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and collect these summoning tickets. And uh, we have a little bit of gems that we can actually play around for the treasure cave later. Uh, looks like we have Bushio, which is actually a pretty good monster. And then we have uh, the old, good old, uh, what monster is that? I think it's from the Alpine era, if I'm not mistaken. I know it starts with a B, right? I don't think I actually own it. I think it's probably Abyssal then. Is, is it Earth? I think it is Earth. Oh, there it is. Okay. So it's got to be this monster. All right. So yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that. I might actually try to get the tickets, but if i don't get the monster i'm not going to be upset because she's not really the greatest anyways let's go ahead and visit the island let's go ahead and see what we have here okay so you guys remember i don't know if you guys actually watched my uh sneak peek video from yesterday but if you did you actually saw that this monster was coming out and we actually sort of seen what the monster's traits were like and i personally didn't really like it like if we, like if we actually take a look at the multiversal um era here if we actually scroll down we have the most recent monster for the tails and the traits aren't really the best the traits are pretty bad i would say so rank three all you get is basically the hardened going into tough tough going into bulwark so you only get bulwark and that's about it so this monster has one of the worst traits in my opinion although here's don't get me wrong bulwark is amazing okay but that is all this monster has to offer for us but i don't know i don't know how i feel about that to be honest and i sort of seen the monster skills so basically this monster only has like about two extra turn skills uh one of them actually has one turn cooldown the other one has two turns so basically after you obviously want to use the one turn once you use that then you want to use a two turn cooldown one and then you can use the one turn again but then i'm pretty sure the second one will still be on cooldown um but anyways i'm gonna most likely do a full analysis on this monster uh but honestly i would say it's not really worth it there are better monsters out there especially for the earth category here's another extra turner that you could actually use which is a bit old but he still he still got it i feel like um so if i had to like compare the two i would say boulder is the better option like this monster has so much to offer first of all getting into the trades we have turner protection immune to blind hardened self precision and immune to torture which is actually not bad i mean it's better than that just junk bulwark again bulwark i don't have an issue with it but that's all that monster has to offer which i don't like um anyways i can actually collect all my gold now um so let's see where i actually have boulder art. where the heck am i keeping this monster oh here it is okay so i found bulwark uh or boulder art. i said bulwark i found boulder art. this monster has uh earth and metal as the elements as you guys can see it does deal a low amount of damage but this monster can basically uh, attack infinitely all right and also on top of that you're applying like at least one okay so one torture per skill there's also sandstorm well actually they're both sandstorms okay no one sandstorm the other one's quicksand yeah let me not get that mixed up so sandstorm actually deals five percent earth damage and reduces precision and blocks peers and this one just deals 15 percent of earth damage so although this deals less damage but it has more uh to offer basically with it and then also don't forget that these skills actually come with negative status effects as well keep that in mind so for example i'm pretty sure there was one right here applies a random negative status effect to all enemies and then you have another one that applies random negative status effect so you can basically continue stacking those up and also you can apply blind with the quicksand uh to them and also sandstorm also uh reduces precision so if you mix sandstorm with the blind that would actually that would that would definitely reduce the enemy's precision by a lot so this monster is actually still pretty good i would say so if you want to uh instead invest in this monster I, I would do it uh whenever he comes back around you can invest in that instead but this sale challenge honestly i i would say skip it honestly um anyways if you guys still want to go ahead and get at least the, the egg here's what i would recommend doing so log in every eight hours and i recommend doing your collections uh head over to a monster to feed up let me see if i have one available here okay i actually have the snuffle slayer that i can actually feed up so basically all you have to do is feed up a little bit it doesn't have to be a high level monster but after you feed up a little bit you should just wait and then it should pop up in a bit um let me see is it gonna is it gonna pop up it should maybe okay never mind i was about to say Maybe if I had to feed up a little bit more, it was going to pop up, but there it is. So there's a little bit of delay to it. Um, so for those of you guys that, you know, don't mind spending your food, you can go crazy. But 
Honestly, you don't have to really feed up too much. You just have to feed it up just by a few levels. Uh, breeding monsters. I'm going to go ahead and quickly find a monster to uh, breed. So if we could just quickly find a monster. We have this one, Dosigami. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's go ahead and actually breed this one. I, I want this. I don't know if I'm going to get it, but uh, basically when you start the breeding, you should uh, get something. Now, I'm going to go ahead and actually activate this. That brings it down to six hours, which is uh, which means we actually got a legendary monster. And it's not mythic. Mythics are usually nine hours. I can try to breed a different monster. But then again, you don't want to clog up your uh, hatcheries or your breedings. So in, in case like for future, uh, which might call it for future uh, nodes, you have them free. So I'm not going to clock that up. But uh, yeah, we have two other monsters that I can actually hatch up. Incognita, guys. I don't know if you guys remember this monster was so good back then. I personally really like this monster. This monster was amazing. Like uh, all the double damage and all the other positive sides. Like, it, was a, it was a really good support in my opinion. Anyways, so I did my fighting, breeding monsters. There is one collecting gold, which I believe is a bug. I don't think I could actually get that. Usually that happens and you can't really do anything about it. Maybe you can restart your game. Maybe that helps. But if it, does, if it doesn't help, you just have to wait uh, until maybe a few hours. Give it a few hours and then log back in and try to do that. Anyways, guys. So like I said, the monster is not really worth it. But if you want to go for whatever rank go for it uh if you want to just go for the egg just for collection purposes go for it you know what i mean it's only going to cost you like about 200 ish gems um so anyways we have a saint patrick's chest here all right so super saint patrick chest this is a zero to ring four. Oh, the casual zero to ring four we have alpine abyssal and galactic for 50 bucks i don't know about that i don't know about that chief and they yeah i don't know i mean that's not fair enough i feel like and again, it's 0 to 4. So most likely, you're going to be starting with either rank 0. Or if you get super lucky, you could get a high rank version. Um, this isn't worth either, guys. This they, So yeah, it's still 0 to 4. But they bring it down to uh, Abyssal, Galactic, and Blossom. Here, it's actually Alpine. And the lowest is Galactic. Where this is just the lowest is Blossom. So you guys get the point there. Um, but anyways, if you did uh, save up a lot of, uh, which you might call it, these tokens you can actually go ahead and redeem them as well uh, at the end of the tales i believe anyways so it's actually not at the end of the tales by the way just a quick correction uh as long as you get the keys you can actually start opening them up but anyways uh what i actually want to do is i want to play the treasure cave i i want to play treasure cave so i have 68 gems let's go ahead and enter it and see what we have here for the monster or uh, let's see what we can actually get for the rewards obviously we know the two monsters um but i want to see how far i can actually make it with just the 68 gems now i kind of want to uh oh no i knew i had a feeling it was gonna be there i feel like they do that now so whenever you go with uh what should i call it if you go with pot three two times in a row there's a high chance they actually put the monster in there back then they didn't do that so let me see i'm gonna go ahead and do it again they think they can actually trick me but i'm actually going to switch it out on the last minute wow that is crazy what obviously i don't want to continue we have 50 ish gems to play with i want to see if i could actually make it to like room 15 that would be cool if i could make it to at least room 15 get myself the 200 tickets that would be nice but let's see so we get that and this time i'm gonna go with the pot two. that's you know what is pot is pot three like guaranteed a trap now what the heck or is it just my luck right now because this is really bad okay you know what i'll give it a one more try and if they actually hit me with the trap it's got to be guaranteed pot three it's guaranteed probably by the way i also noticed they keep on switching out uh so basically they keep removing the treasure monster you know the avatera whatever his name is they actually keep removing him from seven and then they keep bringing him back i don't know if you guys actually knew that anyways pot four i'm gonna go ahead and go with this one okay so we didn't get hit with the trap on route three okay that, okay great so it's not always guaranteed. It was just my luck, I guess. Anyways, room six, I'm going to go with this one. And it looks like we got a hit with the trap. But we would have gotten hit with the trap on room seven anyways. So it's fine. That kind of makes it up. And we're just going to go with this one. Unless room seven didn't guarantee a trap. And I just kind of continued. Um, let's hope that's not the case. But anyways, can we make it to room 10? Wow. It, today is not my day with, with the treasure cape. I'm just backing out. I'm not going to play it. I just lost about 20-ish 20 20-ish gems. About 20, 30 gems. Go ahead and donate some cells to Mehdi. All right. Plus three. All right. And I do want to check out uh, War. So let's head over to War because I want to see um, what's what's the restrictions. We have Metal, Light, and Underworld. Okay. So with this, I want to see what I could actually set up. Um, do we have any tanks that I could actually put in? Interior? <laughs> if I had Evasion, I would have actually maybe considered it. But no, then there's also a little just injustice with the Pierce. I, I don't I, I don't want to deal with that. Um, we're going to have to go with a different monster. Should we do Slob? What do you guys think? Sure. I mean, I'm, 
I don't really care. These guys, I don't think they really have a lot of good monsters. So what I'll do is I'll actually just set up Slob. I'll give it the runes that uh, this monster is carrying. So I'll do like a triple team suit. Or actually, I could probably throw in a life in there since it's a tank. Um, I could probably just do that. I was thinking about doing a triple team speed though. And the speed here is 35. Wait, hold on, hold on. I actually got to check this. Let's head over to friendly battle real quick. We have 39 and 37. Okay, that's not bad. I mean, as long as we get get that uh, awakening from Justin Justice straight away, that would help out. So for example, if I were just to auto this, let's see what happens. I mean, usually the AI is kind of smart and it knows what to do. Okay, never mind. In that case, it actually didn't. Um, But we still eliminated one monster, which basically technically just chips off one coin. So that kind of helps out. But it would have been better if he actually... Uh, if Albanas actually just did the AOE damage boost. But there it is. He finally gets his awakening and he uses J Divine Justice, which actually limits everybody. Cool. So, yeah, I guess we could set that up. I mean, it doesn't matter. Again, um, what, do, what do these guys have? Oh, 150 is with that rune. Not bad. I mean, that, that piece is kind of sad, but it's um it's the top three. Okay, so I actually want to just take a look at these other ones. Yep, nope. That's not going to that's not gonna work much. Yeah, no, definitely not. All right. So anyways, guys, that's going to wrap it up for today's Monster Gems video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like, subscribe. Make sure to check out the new Tails Challenge. Um, and if you don't, it's okay. There's not much to mess out. Miss out on, you know what I mean? It's, it's literally just another monster that I don't think it's going to get used much. I personally don't think so, but um, who knows? It might. But I would say, if anything, just get the egg. You know what I mean? But Baldurar is a better option, in my opinion. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next one. Peace out.